Hey, Trevor Matthews here from Refrigeration Mentor, and I'm at the RNA Canada factory with Chris Rogers, who is the manager of high pressure welding here for all their CO2 equipment that, uh, that they sell and they manufacture here in Canada. Chris, welcome. Hey, thank you. Chris is going to be talking about how to properly uh, weld stainless steel because this is something that you need to really understand because it's something we see more and more in the co2 application and it is an art i've seen some of chris's weld here at the factory and they are amazing They're very beautiful and he's going to walk us through step by step on how to do a proper weld all right here you go uh, first of all you start by doing a small gap when you assemble your piping to your uh, well your cap or whatever your teeth you need to leave that little space at the bottom so when the metal heats up when you're welding it it has the room to expand okay so if you stick it into the bottom when it's going to expand it's going to create like this sort of pressure yeah it might crack under uh, under uh, when it's working okay right? yeah so uh, you start by doing this and then once it's tacked you brush it up now we're going to start with the first the first pass we call it the root pass okay because we do two passes here you got the root pass and then you got the capping the root pass is you're going to really weld in the root so it's going to be nice and solid and the yeah. capping is going to be like just a, um, a second measure if yeah you know. so it's very important to understand so what chris said and i can even see a mark here so i, I believe that it probably went all the way down you mark it yeah. you lift it up a bit and then you tack is it called tig or tack weld it yeah well it, it was done by tig and okay. it, yes, we call this attack. Uh, attack. Yeah, okay, attack awesome, weld. awesome. Yeah. So just remember that using the proper terminology is very important in our industry as well. So, yeah. so now Chris is going to show us the next steps to uh, properly welding uh, stainless steel. Okay, so here you have it. You got the root pass right here. Uh, very important to, before finishing the weld, you go a bit over what you started at the beginning. That way you're sure you fusioned well your, uh, your root. Now, now let's go take a closer look at this. Like, now let's take a look at that weld. Like. So what you do is you do your first pass. Yep. You let it cool down. Exactly. Naturally cool. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Naturally or sometimes I help myself with the... Uh, uh, How do you say siffle in English? Uh, air? Yeah, uh, oxygen? Like air, air shooting, yeah. Okay. With yeah. the compressor. Compressed air? Yeah, exactly. Cool yeah. it down? It, cool it cools it down faster, but still naturally it's with air and it's not like directly in water. Or water. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it cools it down a little bit faster because you want, to, want it to have a cool before you do your second pass, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so that looks really good. So what's the next steps for your second pass? So once it's cooled down, you got to brush it. Make sure there's no contaminants in it. Yeah. And you can see it even changing color while you do that. You know, you had yeah. that little reddish and purple thing. Exactly. Now you want it to be nice and clean. Okay. okay awesome. I'm just going to want to show, show what that looks like. So now that's what it's looked like before the second pass happens. Only oh, another thing. My root pass, I do it with a 332 rod, and with my capping, I do it with a 18 rod. Oh, so a 332? Put material on the top. Yeah. Okay, so the first one was what size again? 332. 332, and this is a 18. 18. Okay, that's really good to know, yeah. right? Because yeah, yeah. Cause you you got to have like as much material possible on the top, and like the uh, the first well, you go with a smaller one, so it's really precise yeah. on the root. So, uh, awesome yeah yeah another thing I want to point out is I stop at this area here I'm gonna start my second weld a bit further so when I finish I go over the, the very point. first point yeah the point where I stopped at the first that makes pass. so much more sense because now you got a full exactly pass over it and here where you finish well the root pass underneath is full there's yeah, no, uh, stop yeah. Joke. that makes so much sense. I've never done this before and it makes a lot of sense on when you're doing it that that, that gives a kind of a double protection. Exactly. And uh, 
probably a big chance if you didn't do that, there'd be a leak in that one spot. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're, you're giving yourselves a lot more chance of not leaking. Yeah, I love it, I love it. Okay, let's see the second pass. go awesome wow well, let's take a look at that once again that is an art Chris thank you that is definitely an art so once again make sure that you take your time a lot of people this is this is new to them in the co2 world to do this kind of welding and like that, that is just beautiful. Like uh, uh, that's a thing of art. You're very skilled, Chris. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much for, for showing us how to properly uh, do a weld on stainless steel pipe. Thank you.